Hi, it's been a while. Since the last episode a lot has changed. Everything we talked about got worse. However, our ultimate goal with this show finally happened. Gamers are sticking up for themselves and fighting back. The AAA studios aren't giving in so easily, though. This time, though, they have governments working against their exploitive business practices. Loot boxes and pay-to-win microtransactions haven't gone away. But, due to legal challenges companies have been forced to make big changes. And, gamers are now acting like proper consumers. They are asking companies to treat them with more respect. They are people. Not money printing machines. Now, a spotlight has been put on working conditions in game companies. Everything this show has talked about are things game companies can no longer get away with. They are being called out and exposed. Some like Electronic Arts are fighting back hard in order to protect their biggest cash cows like FIFA Ultimate Team. But, they are taking a big legal risk. Many countries define loot boxes as gambling. Electronic Arts is fighting a battle they can't win. When this show started, game companies were getting away with murder. Now, a AAA studio can't do anything without it being exposed. The fight is far from over but greed is on the losing side. Now, there is a new threat to our favorite hobby. Political correctness. It encompasses many things. Social justice, third-wave feminism, and in general an ideology that promotes bigotry, intolerance, and anarchy. I don't like it that this show has to get political. But, they started it by forcing their ideology into our movies, TV shows, and now our video games. An ideology that preaches men are bad, white people are evil. And if you don't agree with them they'll ban you from social media so your voice can't be heard. This goes beyond video games. This is literally a war. Between good and evil. Again, I did not want things to be this way. I did not want to have to talk about this. There is enough negativity in the world as it is. But, then I wondered. How could we approach this more positively? By flooding the darkness with light. By showing how things should be. Take a social justice buzzword like diversity, and show people what real diversity looks like. Show what real racial and sexual equality looks like. Expose the evil for what it truly is. By showing people the more positive opposite. That's not going to be the main focus for this show going forward. But, when the subject comes up we won't be gentle. When fighting evil you can't be gentle. We're going to hit hard. But, in a more positive way. This marks the beginning of a whole new era, for Chloe and the Professor. We will show the world who really has the moral high ground. I've been Chloe, thanks for watching. Remember to visit the Gamers Bay community on MeWe.com, and if you'd like to help our channel, please give to our Patreon. Links are in the description below.